Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of We're Playing This Game the Game. The game and we're gonna the follow game. the scent. Of that fucking sexy witch whore. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. She's taking off clothes as we follow her uh, her trail. Come on, where is it? I looked at it. I did. I used my Witcher senses. I found it. Keep going. There we go. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Now where's that Cinderella gone to? Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me, but I'll think of something. Well, we really do get the fucker, huh? Yep. Is that what all this was really about? <laughs> like, do all these quests? No, but it was like, no, it was weird because she literally just wanted to have dinner. Yeah. This was, she just wanted laid? Is that the quest to have sex? I don't get, I don't understand. Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. But indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Eggvane Navi. We gotta get to Fike Island. Luckily, we gotta go back. Here? Yeah. I don't know why her. Sh they were co were completely clothed except for our shoes. I don't know why she wore them. Yes, we want to track that quest. We're not gonna swim all the way there. That's for sure. We're just gonna teleport our way over there. But first, why are my shoes off? Oops! 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 Which shoes were better? These ones. Uh, equip. Clones. Actually, these trousers are better. I don't know how that's possible, but... They are. Huh. Even though those were legendary or magic. That is not as good. Well... Honestly, it's only minus one, and you get more resistance. We're going to put that back on. Yeah. I'd rather have more resistances than just plus one armor. Okay. Now, let's figure out where the closest, uh... <laughs> so we need to teleport to here. So we can go straight up. Let's figure out what this quest is, and then go straight up to the manor. Okay. So we were bamboozled. She tricked us. How did she trick us? She used a sleeping spell on us for so that what? she could get away. We're gonna go find out why she uh, yeah, what for what? why she was doing such tomfoolery. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, is this that? Yeah, this is that quest. Okay, this doesn't take too long. It's just a lot of talking. We don't actually. There's a there, there's a chance you could fight something. I choose not what to fight. Doing, it. Choose so. not to fight. This one flying from the moon. We're making offerings to the old god clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you've got fitting offerings. Scorned ours. And cursed the old village. So what's wrong with your offerings? You need to mark us. You can see right well we brought scraps. War, I wouldn't give this such to me elves. What can we do? Such are the 
times, and they're like to get worse. All God said, if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and locusts or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this all God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it's on earth to try. To speak with him, to stand before the altar and cry out, All God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. Oh, all God. Help a poor wretch in need. Pretty please. How dare you disturb my divine rest, mortal? I dare disturb it because I want your divine self to lift the, uh, curse you cast. Those peasants really don't have... They must bring worthy offerings or they shall face drought. Driving hail, earthquakes, avalanches. I have spoken. Avalanches here. Huh. How would that work? No answer from the All God. Fine. We can finish our conversation when I find him. Voice came from underground. Okay, so now we gotta find our way underground. An illusion. Had an illusion spell to hide where he was. What? Who dares to disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. <laughs> Expected the All God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd watch over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. Want to settle for curves and way? Not a chance. And you can tell them that. This whole long for a century or so. One winter I found shelter. Built a fire so large the flames let through the crack, lit the bushes above. I coughed from the smoke and suddenly heard a peasant. A voice out of nowhere, he called. A miracle. Thus I became a god. Parasite more like. Maybe so. But what are Freya and the little A then? Hmm? Demanding prayers and offerings, giving naught in return. I talk at least. Listen here, Lord Ass. You're gonna be satisfied with what you get, or I'll feed you to the ravens. Now, reformers. No, fine, fine. I'll suck more modestly. But just till the end of the war, not one day longer. All right, so we got 25 experience points for getting him to stand down. I don't think there's anything in here worth grabbing. It's not going to grab anything in here anyway. Okay. Oh, there's some stuff. Yeah, there's spooky stuff, man. Nice. An ingot. Got. It's pretty nice. Alcohol. Some more alcohol. Okay. Got some hybrid oil, but uh, I don't give a shit about oils. Alright, so let's go talk to these guys and let them know that their god is now pleased. Anything new? Talk to your old god face to face. Will he show us mercy? He will. Promise to be pleased with whatever you bring. <laughs> I told you. 
Told you the all gods merciful understand it. Thanks, Witcher. <laughs> so you can literally tell them about the crypt below, and then they'll go down there and get massacred. But we're gonna be nice and just say farewell. Why would you send them down there, farewell. those poor boys? The all gods show you favor. Uh, 50 experience points for that. And 50 crowns. Nice. Fantastic. Don't know why they did that. Oh, we're level 8. Since when? Never told me. I don't know. <laughs> I think when we woke up from our little... A little uh, bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's activate that. And put that right there. So now our fast attacks are stronger. Uh, damage is increased by 25%, which is nice. We have one point available. Um, like I said, I would eventually... This is easier on PC. Um, so I would like to put points into Puppet at some point, but I'd rather max out uh, this combat first. So we're going to put a point into Precise Blows. Because we want to eventually get down here to Crippling Strikes. It'll take five, and I think this requires 11. So we're going to have to do five points into something else, too. I'm not sure what yet. Um... Hard to say, but we'll put five points into something. Put five points. Five point. Point. Five points. Five points. Five points. Something. something. All right. Where do we need to go? We need to go to the manor so we can fast teleport. Finish this quest up. This quest line up. Okay. As soon as I get there, we'll save because it's time to end the video. Okay. Next time, guys, we're going to Fike Island to figure out what in the world she did to trick us and what she's up to. What Man, could she that possibly be? Crafty bitch. Up? She is a crafty whore. Crafty. crafty whore indeed. Okay. We will see you guys next time.